Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in fact, Rachel is likely not to have existed at all. If the first girl, Anna, was not loved in that summer, would it have ended differently? A long time ago, before I was a novelist, I was still young and naive. I fell in love with the first girl. We instantly fell in love with each other. It was mad, intense. It was a sexual love. However, a few months later, Anna suddenly passed away. My first fragile love ended, and it left a trauma in the heart of a young boy. My excessive desire for that girl coincided with the first appearance of my mental disorder. Oh Rachel, why don't you love me like Anna loved me? After I became a novelist, I still couldn't fit in with society and sometimes became destructive. I longed to be in the countryside or some small sleepy village. I wanted a reclusive life by the sea to concentrate on writing. Many stowed away memories to sort through. After a while, I reached this wreck of a house. I was likely to have been led there. Yes, led there by Satan himself. Welcome to my lair.
encountered a strange man. No, he was like a lord who settled there for a long time. From my instinct, I believe that the life here would be fine as long as I asked this strange man for permission. The man didn't say anything, but I could feel that he would allow me to stay. In his silence, I felt as though I was being asked, what is my type? I replied, what are you talking about? The man simply said, woman or girl? I pretended to be unsure and replied, there is a certain beauty in youth, wondering if he might know that I would surely prefer a little girl. It all starts here. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in fact, Rachel is likely not to have existed at all. Hi, did you write this? I'm not understanding because the expressions are too difficult. Yeah, just my trivia class. Mm, okay. Where did you come in from? Can I come back again? Sure, I'm Ray, you? Daniel. Okay, you're Dan. Ray. Rachel. After that, 
Ray came every day with the exception of Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday. As far as I can tell, the happiest times for me have piled up as a bunch of memories. However, the time with the young angel passed very quickly. When I couldn't stand staying alone, I tail Rachel home, but found out she was just a normal girl living with her mother. Her real name was Rachel Rose, 14 years old. When I was alone, I lost all my energy as if I was a stone, just sitting there, arousing energy with the premonition of Rachel. It repeated again and again. It's a dream. He's played the piano to dance. And... Let me offer you more support for lessons. Stop it. Don't bring my mom into this. You're serious. I don't want to hear about this anymore. Recently, people say that I look like my mom. Don't show your legs, Rachel Rose. <laughs> what do you say? Yes, ma'am. Story, the future of Daniel Lambert and Rachel Rose. Yeah. What do you want, Dad? Let's go over to Rachel. Anyway. Really? Sure. But surely it's a fragile string of our relationship would disappear, passing through my fingers, just like that summer with Anna. I was very afraid it would vanish suddenly. It was the day when Ray unexpectedly appeared in the night. Wake up! What's up? I'm going to a party, why don't you come with me? This time? Yes. Oh, yes. Stop it. Look, I already got dressed up. Change your clothes, Daniel. It's not far from here. Do we know anyone there? No, yes, maybe. Go. It seems that the night when we arrived at the party was the beginning of the nightmare. Rachel disappeared. Uncharacteristically, I lost control and got drunk. Next thing I know, I woke up in my villa, not knowing how I got there. There was a vague memory of the strange man. Around me too. 
After that night, Rachel did not appear for some time. Without her presence, my desire intensified. Perhaps it was just a delusion, but the love for Rachel grew stronger to an uncontrollable that almost burst in. The sudden death needed us together tightly and deeply. At least at that time, I thought so. You calm down? Yeah. Let's take a trip somewhere. Broadway, or some of the mills. destination in mind and dream of having Rachel next to me. Rachel never came again since that day. I still don't have any idea where she'd gone. to see that man whom I believed to know the truth. In my delusion, I got an urge to shoot my enemy. I couldn't control the compulsion and I did it. A man who I have never seen was found dead. The man that I shot was the devil in my nightmare.
ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in fact, Rachel is likely not to have existed at all. I continued driving with the Rachel of my delusion by my side until the day I had to terminate the trip.